Yola, welcome back to more Let's Play Dragon Quest XI Blind. Uh, the screen is dark because I got everything set up and then I was like, let me just check Facebook. Yeah, I don't know why I do that. Anyway, uh, how is the search for uh, new talent going? Do you need some hints about who to recruit? It is kind of weird that the person's like, I will give you a hint on what to do. Okay, so uh, fortune teller uh, who set up shop at the Alobira Tavern. Everyone's raving about him. Apparently, all his predictions come true. They say he uses three colored balls to divine the future. Pretty strange if you ask me, but all his customers seem to be happy. That's exactly the kind of person we need performing at the circus. Why don't you go talk to him and see if he's interested? Okay. Um. Where did it say to go? The inn, right? <laughs> did it say the inn? Oh my god, my memory is so bad. I mean, it's like good. I just like wasn't like, I just got like let's play brain, you know? We just like immediately like forget the thing that like that they just said. Uh, okay, well he's probably not the innkeeper. Oh, did I uh, read this book? I don't think I did. Okay, I already know their recipes. I guess the world is the same, so I guess the books on the shelves are gonna be the same. But well, I didn't know if they were gonna like sprinkle in some uh, some like new ones, you know. But I guess I'll get a second chance to uh, get the ones I missed. Since we're going to be making a second pass. Then again, it, like all the recipes are probably going to be like crappy. Uh, since it's going to be like like old stuff that's already like outdated. I, did, did he really say the inn? I thought he said the inn. Oh, the Alabeard Tavern. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Oh yeah. Jeez. Okay. Oh yeah. That's Let's Playing for you. Uh, okay. So Tavern. Doesn't say where the tavern is. Oh my god, I gotta look through stuff, like, on my own? Oh my gosh. Okay, well, here's, a. Uh, what is the name of this, uh, this, like, uh, glass thing called? I think I know, I just can't think of it right now. I've, like, heard it. Okay, so it's probably this colored ball guy. Greetings, stranger. I sense that you are looking for someone. Haha, -ha, do not attempt to deny it. I know everything. What's more, I'm in, I'm in a position uh, to help you find the one that you seek. It may be a long lost brother or a brand new lover. My crystal balls will guide you to them. Don't worry, I'm not in it for the money. I just thought that people might need a little spiritual guidance. What with you just still having fallen and all. So he's really doing it for free? There's gotta be a catch, man. Uh, this young man appears to have some talent. Invite him to take part in the circus performance. Well, if he was so, like, if he was like a psychic or whatever, how did he, like, not know that the person I was looking for was him? Okay, I probably have to do something for him first, right? You want me to join the circus? Gosh, even I didn't see that one coming. Are you sure about this? I mean, I'm just a fortune teller. Do you think, uh, do you really think I'm going to fit the bill? Tell you what, why don't we let my crystal balls decide? Uh, now listen carefully, I'm going to picture one, and only one of these wondrous orbs. Red, yellow, or blue. All I've got to do is choose. Pick the one I'm, uh, picturing, and I'll know we were destined to work together. I'll come and join the circus without further ado. But I just gotta trust the guy? Are you all set? All right, I'm going to start picturing one of them now. Remember, all you have to do is choose which one it, uh, which one it is. Balls tell all. The balls tell all. What color will they show us? If lies they tell, then off to hell. That dark place down below us. Okay, you just rhymed show us and below us. Uh, they speak of fire. They speak of flames. They speak of sunset's glow. The balls tell all. The balls tell all. What color do they show? Well, it doesn't really show a color. It just is a color. Okay, I have a feeling this is like a um, illusion of Gaia situation where it doesn't like matter. Uh, all right, I'm picturing one of my crystal balls. Now it's up to you to tell me which uh, one. Are you ready? Okay, so those are crystal balls. They look like regular ass balls. The red ball. Are you absolutely absolutely certain this is uh, the one you want to choose? Well, you did it. You got it right. Looks like you've got some kind of connection. We've got some kind of connection. In which case, my crystal balls and I are at your service. Let me know what you want me to do at the circus, and I'll give it my best shot. Why do they program that in? It's, I guess it's easier to just be like, pick the thing, and you'll always be correct, than to actually, like, do a side quest, I guess. Fortune Teller agrees to perform at the circus. I guess this game is ambitious enough that I'm not going to, like, dog on him for, like, chintzing out on it. Uh, I mean, he could have just said, sure, but I guess, like, then people would be like, well, that's, like, too easy. 
But then again, it's like too easy to do it this way too. So yeah, I don't know. Right, that's too... Uh, oh, this is Dave speaking. I'm like, what's, what, what's up with with the apostrophe OT? That's too... Hot new talent? What word is that supposed to be? <laughs> uh, new talent, sign up for the circus. Let's head over to the big top and share the good news, eh? God, I still am thinking about, the, like, what is that called? Ah, uh, whatever. It's not important. It's just gonna bug me. <laughs> uh, the Great Silvando saves the day once more. We've got two new recruits keen to perform uh, with us in the final show, and it's all thanks to you. Everything's ready backstage, and the performers are waiting for their cues. We're all set. Uh, now that we can start... Uh, not that we can start without our star turn, of course. What does that mean? Time to prepare for your grand entrance. Let the ringmaster know when you're all set. Uh-oh, is something gonna happen? The sets are gonna make an appearance or something? Okay, well, the fact that it gave me a chance to, like, go and save or whatever, it's like, like, why would it have to be like, are you sure? Are you sure you're sure? Oh, so it wasn't him that we got to talk to. Okay. Uh, is it you? Is it you? Little, uh, little dicky for you. Hello, darling. It's been a while. S Silv, what are you doing here? Oh, you know me, honey. I've never been able to stay away from the circus for long. Bravo, by the way. Most people would have thrown in the towel by now, but I always knew you're made of sterner stuff. Wait, were you the one that found, or uh, who... Found those new recruits for us as well. Goodness me, I don't know how to thank you. Now, what, now, like, if he didn't know, then how did he just, like, suddenly know? Oh, you don't need to thank me, honey. The only thing you need to do is give me my cue. The Wondering Wonder is ready to leap into action once more. So why are we doing this show again? All right, Silv, if you're ready, then so are we. Oh, I ran into that guy outside. He was like, we're doing this one last show for some fucking reason. That's the spirit. Well, this is it, darlings. One last chance to bring some light into this dark, dark world. Well, it, like, if the world is gonna stay dark, dark, then shouldn't we, like, shouldn't this whole thing just, like, stay a thing? Like, why why do it only one more time, you know? One last chance to gasp in awe at the spectacle of the circus. One last, last glimpse of the great Silvando. Ha ha ha, let's get the show on the road. Uh, okay. So why, like, yeah, like I said, like, why is he only Ladies being like, oh, we're just gonna do this one last show? Boys and girls, welcome, one and all. Ah, uh, welcome, all twelve of you that showed I up. I know it's a difficult time for all of us, but what better way to show off our indefatigable spirit? Indefatigable. Than to the big top. Yeah, I'm not going to be saying that word. That word is too easy to mispronounce. And defiant exuberance. And believe me, that's what's going to happen. Because tonight, for one night only, for the first time since the glory days of the Gallipolitan Circus, the Wandering Wonder returns! <gasps> There you go. You got one guy Welcome. with a drum, one guy juggling, oh, hi. and a guy waving. Hi. Is that enough entertainment for you guys? At least Silvano can do, like, magic. Clap your hands, stamp your feet, and get ready to smile like you've forgotten how to. Wow, this is the dumbest I entertainment show, like, ever so far. Silvano! Levando's really gonna have to, like, pull one out of his ass to make the show, like, entertaining overall. Alright, alright. I mean, that's cool. Everybody, it's time to turn those frowns upside down. Prepare to be amazed.
Oh wow. Slavando and Co. Uh, why couldn't they just say company? Co is short for company. Uh, put on a stunning performance and for one night at least the people of Galapagos were able to put all their worries and cares behind them. We're not going to show it. You'll just have to take our word for it. It was like stunning and shit. After a jaw-dropping show, source, trust me bro, curtain falls to thunderous applause. They're really not going to show it? I mean, I get that it like it cuts costs or whatever to not have to show it, but it's like this game hasn't like this game hasn't like um, been like skimpy on the cutscenes. Why like why couldn't they show a cutscene if they're gonna if it's gonna be if it was such a big deal? Then they should have at least like showed some of it, you know? Wow, and now it's over. Darling, please, I just did a few. They showed their little like entrance thing. You're the real hero. And then it just faded to black. Keeping the show going it just said that it was like amazing and, and whatnot. <laughs> no one else that it, that is kind of lame, you gotta admit, but... <laughs> well, you know me. I've always been a firm believer in the healing power of laughter. And heaven knows, these people need it now more than ever. Yeah, I know, that's why it's kind of dumb to I only have the show be like one, like a one-time thing. Me about that power, did I? I saw her when I was just a child. She was simply the most incredible performer. Boy, she dropped neck like she you wouldn't believe. people out of a kingdom destroyed by monsters and onto a new home and a brighter future. And she kept them smiling from start to finish. <laughs> you can't imagine how inspirational it was for those of us who were lucky enough to wave them on their way. And then, when she'd taken them to safety, she disappeared, just as suddenly as she'd arrived. We never saw her again. The rumors were that she died when she was still young. Such a tragedy. No, she's probably alive. They, they wouldn't tell this whole story in love with the famous knight. if it like if nothing was gonna like come of it. If we're never gonna like see them or meet them, you know. Found some happiness before her untimely end. You remind me of her, you know. That look on her face as she proudly led those people out of danger. Wait, uh oh. Spreading joy. Silvando, is there something about Silvando we don't know? Is he hiding something? Oops. Well, if I needed inspiration to keep the circus going, you've provided it in spades. The show must go on. These people need some light in their lives. Okay, so he now decided that it couldn't end. It's like, well, I could have told you that, dude. It seems we've got a rival in the smile spreading business. Well, we'll just have to work twice as hard. Except Silvando's like the star of the show, uh, and we're gonna be like leaving. So the show is gonna like Would suck balls without him. Came with you? If this circus is going to stand any chance of keeping people laughing, it's going to need some performers who've learned from the best. Oh, well, the more the merrier, of course. But I think we should see what the ringmaster has to say, don't you? Hmm. Hmm. Oh, you boys go with Sil. Learn all you can from him, hey? What? I'll be expecting big things. He's gonna come with us? Okay, who's back. gonna do that show in the meantime? He just said that they're gonna keep doing the show or whatever. Take good care of them, won't you? They're good lads, I promise. Life in the happiness restoring trade isn't all fun and games, you know? I'm going to be training you hard, and I expect you to become nothing less than the very best in the business. Sir, yes, sir. Sir. Yeah. Sir. Oh, yes. That dude on the right looks very generic. Okay, so we got, uh, they're gonna be like temporary. Oh, wow. Your next. Wait, is that a typo? You can now choose which of Savando's new friends will fight alongside him in battle. Try talking to them when you're next at a capsite. That could just be one of those, like, weird wordings. It's one, like, yeah, I mean, it's not necessarily a typo. Or a, what's it called when it's a typo, but it's like a whole word. 
It could just be one of those, like, strangely worded things. It technically, I don't know. I'm not, like, an English expert, but, like, there's something about it where it's, like, you could... Like, that could actually feasibly, like, be correct. Especially with the, with the way that this, uh... With, like, the way that they use words in this game, you know? Um... So... Are the shops, uh, still, like, early game shops? Or do they, like, update their stuff, I wonder? So I got cheapo stuff, and they do have some, like, uh... Some better stuff, too. We got, uh... Got, uh, got some stuff. Oh, yeah, by the way, um... Yeah, Silvando still has the sword. The, like, the default sword. That's just called Silvando Sword. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that he had that on. He had a dagger on that was stronger, but I switched him to a sword so that I could do that sword uh, technique or whatever, that sword skill, to try to take out the metal slimes. But I, like, didn't put it back. I, like, I didn't change it back when we left that area that had those, uh, that had the... I forget, if it, I forget if it was metal slimes or liquid metal slimes, but there were some kind of metal dudes that I gave him a sword since he needed it to use the... The, uh, the metal attack or whatever. Let's run to the campsite and see if we can get some guys to help us. So I didn't put the sword back after we left the area that had the metal dudes in it. And uh, now we don't have anything. Now we're stuck back with the sword, but oh well. We'll get something at some point. I'm pretty sure that the uh, thing I had wasn't like that much better. So it's not like I'm like severely gimped. Um, how do I pick my, my guys? Oh, I can't even use the, the fun size forge. I was just thinking about that. I was like, I wonder if they programmed animations for, uh, Solvando, like pounding it or whatever, pounding the thing when you're at like the menu where you like select what you want to make. Huh. How come, so there isn't like a th like it told me to uh that I could like select who I want to like uh come with me or whatever. And I went to a camp and there was like no option for it. What the heck? Why would it say that if that's not like a thing? Um okay, so um who the hell's this guy? Uh, greetings, good sir. You may be wondering what a bard is doing in a place such as this. Well, the truth is that I set out on a journey to inspire the world through the medium of rhythm and rhyme. Alas, I'm learning that music is a far more subjective matter than I had thought. Yeah, you should have thought about that, dude, before you became a bard. Uh, not so long ago, I was forced to perform for a group of dancing monsters who had no appreciation for my work whatsoever. Hmm, where was this? Oh, it was south of Galapagos. Not a place I shall be, vi uh, be visiting again. Do be careful. Did you have cause to venture there? Okay, well, am I supposed to go there just because a guy said, like, mentioned it? <laughs> like, they didn't say that that's where I had to go. They just, like, literally just said it. But then again, sometimes games have it like that. Where it's like the one place that was mentioned by a person is where you need to go. Uh, okay, so which way do I need to go? Which way did I come from? This is a new play session. So I don't remember where I came from. I want to say I came from the left side, right? Um. Damn it, I don't remember. Well, you know what? I'm closer to, to the left. So let's check this one first. I mean, I, don't, I feel like this is the way we came... But I've been playing video games long enough to know that, like, you might as well just check the one you're closer to. Otherwise, you'll run all the way to the far one just to realize that you should have gone to the other one. And then you got to run your ass all the way back. Uh, off limits to civilians, our exalted sultan scholars are currently conducting in-depth researches among the dunes. The dunes. Well, if they're scholars, like, they're not, like, fighters. Isn't it too dangerous for them? 
Okay, well, on the positive side, that's good. That means that that's not uh, where I need to go. So hopefully, um, the game will, like, kind of funnel me until... Until I get, like, like everyone back together again, you know? Oh, man. Okay, so can't go up. Oh, wait. No, I... There was another path. There was, like, two ways to go. I didn't go this way. Yeah, I feel like this is where we where we saw that guy. Wasn't it right here? Um, 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 um. Okay, I already ran past here, but the other guy did say gondolia. Oh, and that's where our ship is. Let's run back to the ship. Maybe they um Maybe the game will, like, let me go somewhere on the ship. Maybe that's what I need to do. Maybe I need to sail to the next place we gotta go to. Okay, we're back here in Gondolia. I had totally forgotten that Gondolia was the place that we were, like, just at. It was, like, the one town that we were running around in. It's, like, the one town, like, that we had been to. Or, you know, the one other town we had been to. Since we took over as Mr. Fruit Loop here. So it's, like, is there anything... Like, our ship was here. How come we can't just, like, sail away? Docks. Can we go to the docks? Like, like our boat is like on, was like on the map. Oh, jeez. This way, and then down and around town this way, right? Get out of my way! Scusa, the dock is closed. The sea is too dangerous. We no allow any ships to leave. It's my goddamn ship, dude. Oh, man. No, we can't let you use your own ship. It's for your own good. It's like, well... I mean, I guess it's just the game's way of, like, funneling me or whatever. I'd rather have it do that, I guess, than to, like, let me, um... Go anywhere in the world I want to. But then, like, nothing... Like, the next, uh, like, plot thing is in, like, one specific location. I gotta go around the whole goddamn world to find it. So, I guess... I guess I'd rather have it just block me right off the bat, but it's still kind of like, dude, what the hell? Like, it's like, if it's my boat, like, you think that it'd, like, let me, uh, like, go to it and use it, you know? Oh, balls. I get, okay, I guess I'll, I went the wrong way. I mean, I went the, the, uh, the way that I logically thought would be correct, but then, yeah, I, like I said, I totally forgot. Like, what? Like, we just left here. Why would it make me come back here? But I don't even remember, like, why we left to go to that other place in the first place. I guess we were just, like, passing through. We ran into that guy at the entrance. Or at the checkpoint or whatever. Then he mentioned the, uh... Uh, that, uh... That, like, like circus act or whatever. What would have happened if I didn't, like... Did, did that scene activate automatically? Was that whole thing optional? <laughs> what would have happened if I would have just not talked to that guy? Would I just not have gained the, uh... The, uh, the, like, the temporary ally people or whatever? Was that the, uh, like, the reward? Like, the quest reward for, like, doing that? Is that now I have, like, people that can, like, help me in battles? Oh, god damn it! Well, I'm, I'm already... I'm, like, tempted to, like, check out that, uh... Place over to the left, since I'm already, like, here. God damn it. Well, I'm just curious. I'm already here. Whatever. It probably won't lead to anything, but I'm curious. Let's just check it out. Oh, never mind. This guy won't let me go. Yeah, did I already talk to that guy when I first left? I think I might have. Okay, well, I guess that makes the choice easy. Alright, so let's uh, meet back, and let's go the way that we're supposed to go. Okay, uh, a thing activated. Por favor, please, you must help. Yeah, there was this, like, big area. So I figured let's, uh, like, check it out while I was, like, on the way. Uh, alright, alright, take it easy. What's got into you, eh? Uh, are you freaking blind? There's a dude right there. Uh, look over there, poor Ahi. All right, you know what I mean, right? Like people in trouble, like right over there, dude. Why do you need someone to explain it to you? <laughs> I am Cabar Caballero from Puerto Valor. Heard that many, that very many people were suffering after the fall of Yggdrasil. I felt it was my duty to try to help them. But you can't even help those two people right there. 
I, but being a hero is much harder than I realized. Uh, when I saw these monsters, I froze with fear, and now I can do nothing. Wow. It's shameful to ask, but I have no choice. Uh, por favor, senor. Will you help these people in my place? What happens if I say no? I'm tempted to say no. I'm gonna say no. I, but senor, you must. I am frozen with fear. You must help them. You, uh, you will, won't you? Please. All right, all right. A little more disappointing of a response than the uh, than the head kick, the fake uh, head kick that Jay did. That was still pretty funny. Uh, to your lucky day, darling. When it comes to biffing, bullying beasties, there's no one like the great Silvando. Muchas gracias. You are a very courageous hombre. I am not, so I will have to stay here until you are done. Ahem. Just like a setup. I feel like I'm being set up. All right. Uh, we've got soul. We've got. Hey, what are you doing? You're ruining our rhythm. Oh, these were the guys that the dude mentioned. We get very angry if we get out of step. Uh, and you, and you don't want to make us angry, do you? Uh, sure. That's enough of your artless prancing. Uh, we'll teach you to pick on poor innocent people. Oh, so it's like that, is it? Can't bear to see someone with groovier moves than you? Well, come here and let us give you a little dancing lesson. And fight. All right. Well, I thought he said that he was, like, south of, uh... That one town or whatever. Oh, it was south of... See, I got the two towns mixed up. See, I'm so dumb with this kind of stuff. That uh, that bard guy was pointing me to here, not the other place. Not south of the other place. There's literally two places. <laughs> and I got them mixed up. Oh, man. Well, I, I certainly, like, got punished. But, uh, yeah, I mean, that's actually one of the reasons why... Um, I sort of like the Let's Play... Uh, like format there are several let's players that now do like uh, they kind of like shift to gears they do like a lot of like streaming which is fine but then in, in certain cases if a person like goes the wrong way and has to spend like five minutes running back and forth or whatever when you're doing a let's play you can just cut that part out but when, you, when you're when you're on a stream then you have to just sit there and watch the guy do it and then sometimes they'll post the stream on YouTube so it's like, oh, it's like a Let's Play, but it's a stream or whatever. It's like, it's like, but then when I'm like watching it on YouTube, I have to like watch him do it or whatever. So like I'm watching a guy uh, do a Mega Man X8 uh, Let's Play right now. It's on YouTube, but it's like a stream. And there's this part where he keeps dying. There's this, it's kind of, I don't know, it looks kind of like bullshit or whatever. And there's like parts where there's like spikes on the walls and like on the ground, there's just like spikes everywhere. And if you touch a spike once, it's death. And then every single time he dies, he has to, like, go back to, like, the start or whatever. And he's died, like, I don't know, 10 or 12 times on it. And I just, like, I just, I have to just, like, watch all the attempts. And before he gets to the spike part, there's, like, an auto-scroll section that, you like, you can't, like, speed up. And it takes, like, a minute. So every time that he dies, he has to go through the auto-scroll part. Like, so I just have to, like, watch him go through this part, like, over and over again that, like, he, like, can't speed up. You know, so it's just, it's just one of the downsides of uh, doing it that way. Boy, look at that. She's got the plain Jane look. She's actually pretty hot. Uh, I really thought we were done for when we ran into those monsters. Thanks ever so much for stepping in when you did. Thank you so much for helping us, mister. We're going home now. Bye, bye. All right, later. Mother and daughter set off on their journey home. I'm sure they'll be fine in the desert. Muchas gracias, senor. Is that how you spell senor? Uh, I really thought I would be able to help them, but in the moment, all my confidence disappeared. Well, at least you tried to do the right thing, honey. No, don't give him any pity. He doesn't deserve it. He, like, he wimped out. Uh, serving the weak untiringly and all that, eh? Okay, you know the pledge, but how? Oh, it's just something I heard long, long ago. It stuck with me, though. Whatever happens, you mustn't forget it either. Serve the weak untiringly. Never retreat in the face of adversity and all that other stuff. To see, I understand. Well, you didn't understand it five minutes ago, dude. Don't be so hard on yourself. If you bitch out, just go ahead and just brush it off. Uh, sure, maybe you didn't get to be the hero this time, but at least you tried. No, he didn't try. He bitched out. He'll make a fine night one day, I'm sure. Yes, I'm very sure. Good gracias, senor. You are a truly wonderful person. In fact, you remind me of my master, the one who inspired me to become a cabal... How do you pronounce that? Is that one of those, like, where the two L's make a Y sound? Uh, Caballero in the first place. I don't even know what that means. You have the same strength, the same spirit. Por favor, senor, you must become my new master. 
I can learn so much from you. Please, will you allow me to accompany you on your uh, adventures? Man, I don't know. What does he do? He's he's like uh, he's like Pokey from Earthbound. He's just gonna like bitch out on like every opportunity. He's gonna like waste all of his like turns, just like cowering and whatnot. Oh, who am I to stand in the way of a young Kaba? I should just decide how I'm gonna pronounce that. Caballero, who wants to fulfill his destiny. Dude, they misspelled fulfill. It's got it's got three L's in it, right? Right? It's full fill and then two L's on the end, right? That doesn't look right. <laughs> Uh, you're more than welcome to join us, darling. Rousey, senor, I will honor the pledge, make you proud, I promise. Okay, so the campground thing is if for you to, like, swap out people if you have too many, I think. Uh, like, like, you have, like, too many to where, like, you can't, like, bring everybody. But yeah, it said south of... Oh, wait, that place is Galapagos. Then what the hell is the other place called? Oh, Gondolia. Oh, they see, that's why I got them mixed up. They start with the same letter. They they sort of sound the same. That's why I got them mixed up. Okay, well, I feel a little bit better now. Oh, man. Look at this big board. This guy might be, like, super easy. But let's go ahead and fight him. Why I hit left trigger, it didn't, uh... It didn't, like, sword swing or whatever. Oh man, this guy might actually be a, a, a higher level dude. Damn, son. Jesus. Man, and we got blinded. My god, that strong minister was so wimpy. Hey, nice. Hustle uh, healed me. Oh, I almost need to heal more than that, though. Uh, I don't know how long this fight's gonna be, so let's do this. It's the only heal movie has. I mean, he has the weaker one, but you know what I mean, right? It's the only one that's worth using. We're at the point where the, like, the weak one is almost like, not, like it's not even worth using a turn. Damn, son. Oh, he keeps oomphling. He oomphled on the last turn, too. Jesus, I have to freaking, to freaking heal. And hope that other guy hustle, hustle dances. And then other guy strong medicine to me, too. I still need to hustle. I might not be able to survive a hit. At least he targeted that guy. Is that three goddamn turns? Jesus, dude. Is this like an optional like boss or something? God damn. Well, I guess I can keep strong medicine ing. The other guys are uh doing some damage. He's not even yellow yet. Why did he do that instead of healing me? I guess I have enough uh I have enough uh HP where he didn't think it was good to use a strong medicine. Bro, how much stronger can he get? Take this! I think that was a crit hit. Uh, can we do some tactics? Tactics. God dang it, the other people, like, don't count. I can't tell them to, like, prioritize keeping my ass alive. What does tap dance do? Evade attacks. I mean... Um... How about deaccelerate? Oh, then again, he's like yellow. Maybe I should go for the kill. Maybe swoosh will do more damage than fire. Okay, we gotta do that every turn. If I don't need to heal. I guess it was also just like bad luck. That uh, I kept getting like targeted over and over again. Like he can attack the other guys. We're good, maybe uh, this will. Would it be nice if this like killed him? I know he should have healed, but oh god damn it! That other swoosh was. Uh, I think I was like buffed by someone else. Oh, it said he's watching his back. 
Does that mean that he'll uh, absorb attacks? That'd be nice. I mean, it sucks that he oomphled, but at least he uh, used one of his um, pepped up turns to do that. So is he programmed to... Uh... Okay, maybe this will kill him. So is one of those other guys programmed to like absorb hits for me? Uh, when like my health is low or something? Yeah, it says he jumped in to protect Silvando. Oh my god, got him. Jesus Christ, dude. 4,200 experience? That was definitely something, like, optional. That was, like, a special, possibly, like, one-time enemy or something. Wait, no item? I mean, 4,000 experience is, like, pretty good. But, like, I feel a little bit disappointed with no level up. I mean, I guess I'm that much closer to a level up. Uh, mini metal. Alright, nice. Oh, but god dang. I wonder if you're, like, supposed to sort of, like, not die. Like, they had that guy that was literally absorbing, like, hits for me, and he seems to have unlimited health, so maybe they, like, don't want you to die at this part in the game. Since you're... Oh, excuse me. Um, your, like, battle options are, like, limited. You don't have, like, a full party of, like, regular dudes, you know? I thought I saw Blue Glowy over here. Oh, I did. It's this. Uh, Duneberry. I'm pretty sure that's new. I don't remember seeing Cotton Top, either. Oh, man. Yeah, this dude is pretty cool looking. He looks like something that'd be out of, like, Monster Hunter World. Except it's, like, the palette swap of, like, the weaker... Or, of, like, the stronger ice version. So, like, that... So, even though he looks, like, big and cool and stuff, he's actually, like, pretty easy sauce. Okay, well... We're here. I guess we're gonna see what's, uh... What's here. Uh, a slime. Is this just a regular slime, or is he gonna talk to me? Slurp, I keep hearing voices. Oh, a gooman! Uh, please, you've got to stay away from me. I'm not a bad slime, I'm really not, but recently I've been hearing voices telling me to do things uh, that are things I'm not slurposed to do. I don't think I'm the only one uh, who's been affected like this either. That plant over there just turned up a while ago, started snapping and snarling at everyone. Huh. So is this going to be like the Gygus effect where it's like influencing the minds of... Uh, of, like, things and making them, like, aggressive and, like, evil and shit. And, like, this this slime hasn't been, like, taken over by it yet, but he's, like, starting to, like, feel the effects of it. Is that something that I wonder if they're gonna, like, uh, if it's gonna become, like, part of the story, you know? Okay, what did it say? Which way did it say to go was the thing? Did it mean that guy? I think it's just a regular guy. Oh, he said it was a plant thing. Well, let's take the opportunity, since I seem to not be able to die. Let's see if I can find... You know what? Since I'm already here, let's just talk to the guy again to see where he said to go. Is there a thing in this little dead end? Oh, it meant this thing. Okay, we'll just hold him off for just a second while I grab this glass frit. What the hell is a frit? Oh, you poor thing. It breaks my heart to see you like this. If I could... Oh, hello there. Hmm? Oh, no. This isn't a monster, I promise you. Well, it didn't start out as one, at least. It's actually a common... It's actually a common or garden plant. I mean, a common plant or garden plant? That's a weirdly worded sentence. And a very beautiful one, too. It's from the Laguna di Gondalia originally, and it's simply breathtaking when it's in bloom. Sadly, when the world went to pot and the darkness fell, plants underwent all kinds of metamorphos... Metamorphoses? Is that how you spell metamorphos? It's metamorphoses, is, 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 right? Metamorpho... Metamorphoses. Is that... I guess I just haven't seen the plural of metamorphosis very many times, so, like, it just looks wrong. And mutations, and even started wandering around causing mischief like this one. Breaks my heart. It really does. That's why I decided to try to do something about it. Like, kill it! Uh, I'm a botanist, you see, and I've invented a special fertilizer that should restore this little fellow to his former glory. How would you be able to invent that? That makes, like, no sense. I've almost got all the ingredients I need, but there's one thing I'm still missing. Horse poo. The smellier, the better. Oh, my God. I'd go and fetch some myself, but I just can't abandon my little friend here. I'm all... Or I'm worried he'll panic and start attacking passers-by. So why isn't attacking him? Say, you look like a helpful sort. I don't suppose you'd go and get some horse poo for me, would you? 
Sure thing, honey. One steaming mound of horse manure coming right up. We'll have your friend looking fabulous again before you know it. Uh, oh, thank you ever so much. Now, I don't know much about horses. Plants are my thing, not animals, but I heard there are lots of them in Galapagos. Uh, maybe that'd be a good place to start looking. Dude, I already have the... Why do games sometimes do that? Like, Silvando knows that he has it, so why couldn't he just, like, offer it to him, like, right there? Uh, I'd know that sweet, sweet aroma anywhere. Well, why didn't you know I... Like, why didn't you know it a minute ago? Uh, you've done as I asked and brought me some horse poo, haven't you? Uh, Silvando gives the botanist the dollop of horse poo he so desperately desires. Botanist uses the horse poo to mix up a batch of fertilizer. He then applies it liberally to the soil around the base of the plant. The plant seems to calm down a little before pulling up its roots and wandering off. Alright, I'm sure it won't attack any, like, mothers and their children, right? Look at that, it worked! Thank you ever so much for your help. My little friend will have toddled... I thought I was reading that wrong. My little friend will have toddled... Uh, off back to the Laguna de Gondalia. How do you know that's where you went? I'd imagine. He was hoping he has a nice, quiet life from now on. Wow. So he's just... He's just cured. Uh, like, magically or whatever. It's weird. Here, here. It's so good to know it's not just humans. We're capable of helping. All living things need a hand from time to time. It's still a deranged, mutated plant. It, it's still, like, dangerous. <laughs> That's right, especially with the way the world is now. There must be so many plants out there suffering, like... Uh, just like that poor little fellow was. I wish I could help them all. I really do. He's gonna be like, Oh, I should come with you so that any plants you come across, I could, like, help. Wait, I have an idea. Why don't I travel around with you and your friends? That's surely the best way to help as many plants as possible. Or you could just go around yourself, yo. Uh, what do you say? Will you let me come with you? I don't know. He might have, like, battle skills or whatever that might be helpful. That guy that absorbs hits for me definitely needs to stay. <laughs> uh, of course, honey, the more the merrier. If there are plants out there that are suffering, it's up to us to step in and save them. Okay, if you say so, dude. Oh, that's just wonderful. Thank you ever so much. I'll warn you now, I'm not much good at fighting. I do know a thing or two about the natural world, though, and that's always useful. Maybe he'll uh, be able to, like, use, like, plants to, uh, to, like, do, like, helpful stuff. Uh, like, uh, like, you know, like, healing herbs and stuff. Oh, jeepers. Okay, um, well, I'm glad I checked that. So, I guess just keep going. So, I wonder how long we're gonna, uh be just Silvando. Like, we're, like, collecting... Like, we're, like, collecting, like, party members. So the fact that we have more than just the ones that we started with makes it seem that, uh... Makes it seem like, um... We might, like, be, in, like, in this part of the game for a while where it's just Silvando. Uh, a halt! And none shall pass! I promise to protect these people, and that's what I'm going to do do Easy there, honey. We don't mean you any harm. Quite the opposite, actually. We're traveling around looking for people who might need our help. What? You must be mad with the world the way it is now, mind you. You do look like you can handle yourself. In fact, it might even be something you can do for me. I'm a martial artist, you see. Uh, and I said I'd help these people get food for the village of Hato. Whatever's going on with the world, it seems to play havoc with their crop production. Oh, you think? Anyway, we were on the way back to the village when we got attacked by a vicious monster. It roughed us up good, uh, roughed us up good and proper and stole all the food we'd collected. I was supposed to protect them, but I didn't stand a chance against that thing all by myself. Oh, I thought you were a martial artist. Why don't you just martial arts the shit out of them, dude? Uh, if you were with me, though, it'd be a different story. So how about it? Fancy going to get those supplies back? Jor. You bet, honey. That monster's going to learn the hard way that it that it can't go around swiping people's dinners out from under their noses. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. As long as we stick together, that thing won't stand a chance. It should be loitering somewhere the south of Hato. South of Hato, I'll have to remember that, because we probably won't get to that till next episode. Uh, I'm sure we'll beat it easily, but let's make sure we're properly prepared anyway, eh? Okay, now we got a martial artist. Oh, I thought this was a person for a second. Jeez. So the fact that it's given me so many uh, party members... Means that, like, I'm, I'm assuming the game is gonna be, like... Like, we're just gonna be, like, doing this for the next, like, chapter of the game, you know? Or, like, leg of the game or whatever. Okay, so let's rest and save, and then, um... And then I guess we'll, uh, we'll call it.
Okay, boy. It sure doesn't seem like we made that much progress. But it's like, well, we did make progress. And I'm just going to cut out that part where I ran the wrong way. Wait, where's the... Where's the thing? Oh, that's pointing at, the, at a horse uh, thing. Do I even have the thing? Can't seem to work, uh, make it work right now. I thought I needed some sort of, like, bell or something to, like, uh, attract it. Oh, the statue's right here, der. It's right by the campfire like it always is. A der, a der, a der, a deer, a female der. So even though it doesn't feel like progress, it's like, well, we did make progress. Man, guys, can you just, like, stand there like normal human beings? Okay, so, uh, which way am I going? Oh, wait, no, not the cryptic crypt. I'm assuming, like, we already went there in the last, not the last one, but, like, a little while ago, right? That was one of the places I was looking when I was trying to find the, the, uh, purple orb or whatever. Okay, so we need to go this way. I just want to make sure I'm pointed, like, in the right direction. Okay, so in the next one, uh, we'll work our way, uh, this way. And, um, we'll make our way to Hotto and probably find some more people. Uh, I mean, I don't really see any reason to, like, swap out anybody. Oh, wait, I didn't try it. Let's, uh, let's try swapping someone out. I don't remember. I'll have to, I guess I ha I'll have to, like, actually learn their name so I know who I'm bringing in and taking out. Am I going to be able to, like, look at their abilities before deciding, like, who to bring in or out? Because the guy who's, like, taking hits for me, he definitely gets to stay... And then, was there a guy that was healing? Oh, Dave. I feel like he's, like, permanent, though. Oh, god dang it. How do I select who to be? It literally said to, uh... How do I swap out people's... Lineup? I don't have a, I don't have enough party members. Well, then who are these, all these fucking people that are, like, joining me? Well, I guess we're not switching. Okay, so in the next one, um, we'll go to Hato and see what's in store. Probably more people to recruit, but we can't switch, so what's the point? I don't know. I'm probably overlooking something, but I don't see what I'm overlooking. Um, but yeah, we'll do that next time. And as always, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Take care. Bye.